的破碎。J47 says, "Submit to God, resist the devil." That means withstand. That means all this dust and stuff in here. Now I cannot breathe. It's on my throat. But I'm not to go upstairs to Lindsay's house and kick her door down. Whether you realize it or not, that feeds it. That feeds her. Oh yes, somebody sees me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody sees me because I don't have a existence. I don't have anything to live for. So I need somebody to see me. So Jamie gets upset because of what I'm doing is making her sick, and she goes up and attacks me. I was walking around singing earlier and praising God. That's an attack because she's doing things to hurt me, doing things at me. And when I built myself up in the most holy faith, I'm building me, not building is protected. Being confident in this very thing, right? That he that has begun a good work in me shall perform it. My building is protected. I got everything I need. Dust or not, I can't see in here right now. It's disgusting. She takes things out. I'm rolling her bed up and down and the and, and walking, and stomping, pong, tong, tong, tong. I should never hear that when you walk, because you are determined to tong, tong, tong. That's okay. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do anyway, because I have the word that says, "Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee." He fleeth <laughs> out of my way, doesn't he? Yet still, in all these things, I'm more than a conqueror. In him that loved me, he flee. I can do all things through Christ. That strengthens me. Cook has taken me off this algae mess and put me on a more powerful one because of what she's doing to me. He flee. And Claritin is a great medicine, but my tongue is swelling now. That's why I'm stu um, stuttering a lot. Clap because when the, the dust, when she does what she does, the dust gets in my throat and it's just bad. Claritin is a great medicine. Um, Zyrtec, I um, I was so allergic to it. I went to anaphylactic shop. Claritin is a great medicine. Oh no, anaphylaxis. Claritin is a great medicine, except it's not powerful enough for this. So he changed my asthma medication. The hospital gave me a higher grade、um, fluid to put inside of my nebulizer, and now he has to change the allergy medicine because of them. Are you gonna tell me who's the devil and who's not? Are you crazy? I gotta stand up and speak what I know, cause the battle is fought in my mouth. It's not for it's for people are walking around saying whatever. I was just looking. I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Cause people say whatever. They have no idea. They don't have a relationship with God. You do. They're not in your situation. They're not responsible for your relationship with God. You do. So this person online saying what they saying to me on Facebook. I don't even know you. <laughs> Nobody knows my situation. Well, my pastors kind of do, but I'm like, oh, I don't know you. Greater is He. Are you greater is He? Did you die on Calvary? Oh, okay, Shh, sweetie. Shh. Two ears, one mouth. There's a reason. There's a reason. I said, you gotta examine the questions that are being asked.、Uh, the man came down to see Jacob,、uh, right, and started to ask.、Uh, at one point, asked him a question,、uh, right?、So、they wrestled all night long、uh, and said nothing, as far as we see. It doesn't say they wrestled quietly all night long,、uh, but we just don't read that they asked any questions or said anything to anybody, each other, right?、So、when they started talking, my contention is, is when we start seeing,、uh, we start seeing what's really going on with them.、Uh, questions will lead me. Always in the right direction. Why? Because questions will tell me, right? Or the presence of questions will tell me what you are thinking. Pastor David made a statement, and then he asked a question. I said, "Oh, I know what he's saying." I caught myself because I was like, "Okay, everybody know I'm talking to the pastor. I always do that." I talk like I'm. Pastor Randy made a comment about it. I talk like literally like he's talking to me. Like I'm there. Pastor T Pastor David's there. I'm there, and this is a private private conversation with me and him. It ain't private, Jamie. Okay, well, you know. It's not a problem to me because I'm in his face. 
I'm sitting right up close. If I'm sitting back in the back, 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 in the back of the church in the caboose. Well, I can't even see if he's a person or not. I just hear a voice. I don't like that. That feel ghostly. Like that feel like an apparition. You can you sit so far back you can't even see what's going on on stage. You see a voice. You're singing, dun 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 dun. They sing bonanza, but you're singing and then you just hear a voice come on the mic again. No, get to know your pastors. Ew. I'm telling you this, but Philippians one six leads into Romans twelve one and two. Here's why I ask questions so I can say things like this with confidence. God is. God did finish it. He started it and then he's performing it. But the work that comes out of you is that it's depicted by your faith because I, got, I would have to ask you one question. Are you confident? Right? Once you are confident, what will happen is then you will start to be changed, transformed by the renewing of your own mind. You will renew your mind. Your mind will be renewed by your by you, and a change will result from it. But what must happen is the finish, the start, the performing, and then you pick up with the transforming based on the renewing of it. To get it while you can, see, get it while it's hot. I'm telling you, you will see the God, the changes that God has for you. Keep asking questions, and after you ask the questions, go on ahead and start believing. Start walking by faith. It does not say, right? It says, uh, 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 the, the blood, the blood, the blood. We are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. It doesn't say we are redeemed by the word of our perfection. So God said, whatever you testify to, I will take it. So don't worry about saying the right or the wrong thing. He said, when you work with me, huh, right, truth will come out of you. You work on the way of truth and light. Truth will come out of you, and I will perfect. Uh, that which is in you uh, while I'm performing it but I need you to take what you think I don't put inside you and uh, work with it that's all this art is and now I'm in a black and white museum I'm going to be in a regular museum and I'm in the uh, state taking one of my art pieces for three months speaking of which I got to get this piece out of here I'm more than blessed I'm scary blessed I'm so blessed the people talk about me I, I'm so someone offered to promote my art as well some, someone from my church that's very trustworthy, but I got to talk to my pastors about it. But these are about me, and I think they think I'm conceited. I got sense enough to be conceited. Because when anything, anything good happens, I ask, is it me? Is it really me? This can't be happening. You want to promote what? And he said it to me before because he said, Jamie, your art is amazing, but he said it matters who promotes it. I said, yeah, you're right. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, got to promote it. I can't promote nothing. If it was somebody else, because I can sell. They saw something, Jamie, you can sell ice to Eskimo. I can sell if somebody else is doing it. But if I'm doing it, what? If someone else was producing what I see in front of me, I would sell it. I mean, I'd be able to, I'd, I'd sell it. I'd, I'd kill it. But because it's me, it makes me question everybody else to see right even the ones that are jealous of you they can see what God is doing inside of you if you hear my voice going guys I'm sorry this is uh, the tenant upstairs she is very jealous of my life very jealous of me so she does things but anyway I don't care <clears throat> everyone can see what God is doing inside of you even the tenant upstairs that's why I don't take things from people because the tenant upstairs obviously sees she's my biggest fan I got fans, I got fans, I got fans, I got people, I have fans for my poetry. So I'm not impressed with a fan. I need a new fan. The fan that I have, um, it's, I, it broke, so I need a, some, uh, a fan that has a clip for the bottom. <laughs> Anybody can get a fan, and I'm not impressed with a fan. But what I love about Lindsay is that Lindsay is my greatest, greatest fan. Because she gets up night and day, night and day. I mean, all night the other night, all day, and she spends her life trying to do things to me. Biggest fan. She she believes in me more than I believe in myself. She sees the Philippians one six of it. I mean, Casey obviously sees it. That's why she speaks against it. Of course, she is of the devil. She would do that. And I'm not shocked. 
I'm not. I, I'm, I'm gonna say it because I'm both, I, I, before I can abide, I gotta act knowledge. I gotta believe. I gotta invest. I gotta defer. And I gotta expect. So I gotta acknowledge the enemy when I see it. And I just see it with my eyes. I see the salvation of the Lord. I can't ask God to help me huh, and deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Huh? Where am I going and what do I call a secret place? Huh? Right? Huh? If I don't want to admit what the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence looks like. Where am I going? I want to believe you nice, but I keep seeing the rooting and the grounding of the love of money. Your love of money is what created this situation. And you have not apologized for it. And all my stuff that have been destroyed. Know your roots, baby. <laughs> Lindsay is my greatest fan. Because she gets up every day and attacks me. Every single day. When I feel, some people say, this happens every day. <clears throat> and it doesn't. They don't mean it. I say it every day and I mean it. Because it's true. Every single day. Without fail, all day, all day long. She just seems to attack me. And so it's my greatest irritation it have been how to get dealt with when, like I'm waving a cold rag at the fan to dissipate some of the dust. Because I, I don't know if you can hear it, I'm choking in between uh, words. That's Lindsay. She me doing my blog, so she has to come and be a part. It's fun. I'm like, oh, get here by. Hallelujah, this block gonna be good. Hallelujah, people are packing it. Hallelujah, it got glory. I was gonna do my blog today because I gotta go and talk to my pastors. I was gonna do my blog today, but somebody said something against the words that God puts in my mouth. And so that made me, oh, oh, yes, oh, I, I, hey, God glory. That's my tension. Don't take my tension away. They said that I was like the blood of Jesus. Think I'm going, I'm, I'm gonna get up and do my blog. I'm going to do my block. When Satan come against you, you don't fight them by fighting the person. I fight him, huh? Now I'm going to do two blocks. Now I'm going to post eight blocks. Y'all don't know it. When you see me post a whole bunch of blocks, it's not to fight anybody here. It's to fight the enemy here. And sometimes it's fight for the enemy. Say it I love it. The woman last year, she said, she wrote Satan on the bottom of her hill. And she said, put Satan under your feet. I love it. Love it. Love it. Right? But here's the thing. huh? Before I could put Satan under my feet, I need to know who Satan is. Who his kids are. I can't put Satan under my feet if I don't know who he is. And here's the thing, I can believe that you are okay, and I put you under my feet where your daddy is, but if I can believe that you are okay, and I accept you into my life, see she did the acronym, acknowledge, believe, right, but what am I believing, but locking people, when I don't want to, but talk about, but Hallelujah, you gonna bear lock me all you want, I'm gonna keep doing my, blah, 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 Glory, but I must acknowledge and believe. But here's the thing: you can't. This is why um, believe come after acknowledge. Is because I can't believe nothing if I do not acknowledge its existence. If I do not know who's uh, fighting against me, I do not uh, have anything or know what I believe. Talk about her. I said, uh, just was. I said, do you remember the ac- acronym? And just started listening and she got stuck at B. I said, turn to John 3.16. For me, this is a, see, just as, as just walked walk the Bible out. Just as a, the, for me, the perfect Christian, because even if she makes a mistake, I'm sure she asks for forgiveness, but she walks the Bible out around me. I cannot tell you, being like Jess, I cannot tell you remembering something that she did wrong. I don't. Because her life looks like confession, her life looks like beauty, her life looks like I want to be like Christ to me. So even if she does do things wrong, which I'm sure she does, God hides them from me. He knows who I am. So if I see all evil, I'm going to start looking at your feet. 
If I see all evil goes a little at your feet. And when I see that you are wrapped in anxiety and not in peace, you're wrapped in anxiety, anxiety, insecurity, and pride. When I see wrapped in anxiety in your feet and not in peace. He said, you've shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. When I see your feet are wrapped in anxiety, cake and nastiness. When I see all evil, I look at your feet and I find the love of money, don't I? Very simple. People say, oh, it's so hard to be a Christian. I don't know who to trust. I don't know who to trust. Yes, you do. And until you learn who to trust, God will lock you in your apartment and your house like you are Rapunzel. Because he said, I supply and provide all your needs according to my riches and glory. Right? So he ain't going to let you just walk around and willy nilly and burn people and look crazy. If there's something wrong with me, God would not have released me to live in this building. He would not have released me to be around these people. Hallelujah. Some people just don't want to confess. Some people don't want change. And I'm not taking down to bow to them. Glory be to God. If I see all evil, I'm going to call your feet out. Hallelujah. How are you rooted? Hallelujah. Bible says it's not anything against anybody because I'm a, I gotta check myself. I said, Kirk, I said, I didn't know I was losing weight. Except I said, because when I stand up, I can't see my feet. I told Lisa the same thing and they cracked up. I was like, I say this all the time. When I want to see my feet and I'm standing up, I literally move my boobs out the way. She said, Jamie, I don't think that's fat. I think it's boobs. I was like, You're right. You're right. I literally take my hands and move my boobs out the way. Move boo. So I can see my feet. I gotta make sure they're there. One, two. Okay. You gotta see if somebody stole it. Make sure. Not only do I make sure my feet are there, but I need to see how my feet are planted. And if I, if I, anytime I said, God, I'm gonna walk this thing out with you. So I knew at that point, I heard. I knew at that point, I gotta follow Pastor David, what Pastor David tells me. And I saw Pastor Tim kind of like in the background. A little, fa- little hazy, but I saw him there. Because God knows, if Pastor David don't occur, okay, I'm not going for it. So the words will come out of his mouth. So if I let the words of my mouth, the meditation in my heart, then he said, but when I say, when the words will come out of his mouth, it's going to be exceptional in my sight. Because God knows, if I'm a sheep, I'm going to follow the shepherd. And then I tell him, glory be to God, I'm going to follow him. A sheep will die if they don't acknowledge the shepherd. Acknowledge, believe. The reason why I have a good relationship with God is because I acknowledge my shepherd and I know who to walk by. I'm not stupid. If Pastor David got up and said one morning, say, pay tithes to Casey, I'm like, why do you want to pay, pay tithes for a demon? I'm not stupid. I'm not the stupid tentacles. You mixed up. I know who I am. I know in whom I have believed. I don't, I don't do, I'm telling you, even when people do things to me, I don't return a response without God, without me consulting God. Now, do I always do what God tells me to do? No. Because sometimes I get so mad, even God say, Jamie, go hug the person. I'm like, okay, I hug them, and I want to punch, punch them a little bit inside. The they don't know it, just like, eat, and I punch them real fast. They don't know. Just punch them real fast. They think it's a mosquito bite. Jamie, did you just pinch me? No. Shut up and give me this hug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dangerous, y'all. I'm dangerous. I consult God. Don't tell me I'm not, I, I don't hear God. I consult God. I don't always do what He tell me to do, but I consult God. Well, how, you, how you know um, my relationship with God is not based on what I do? So talk to Jesse. She's like, Jenny, I, I see God in you, all over you, all around you. Right? Miss Cal always says it. She says, Jenny, she said, you are the definition of a teachable spirit. So that, she said that to me. She said it in the group box there. She says it to me all the time. She keeps telling me, Jenny, you're teachable. Jenny, you're teachable. Jenny, you're teachable. You're going far because you're teachable. And people have told me that, but then there have also been people that I love that tell me I am not teachable. It's not the one versus the other, one tongue versus the other. What's going on is, hallelujah. He just said it. I'm switching shoes. <laughs> you better do this thing, Jesus. 
Just because high heels don't, you think high heels are going to look like no pair of jeans and no sweater, you better be worried about the shoes. Because he said, well, then he said, put on shoes of peace. I will put your shoes of peace. Right he said, no, he said, if you put on shoes of peace, uh, right? Because Ephesians 6, 10 to 16 says, I'll put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand. I will, I've, I've, some people, you see them tripping all over the place. Uh, and now unto him who is able to keep you from falling, will not stop you from falling. Just because he's able to do it, uh, that just says that's a characteristic. That's uh, something that he can do. Uh, he is God. He also now to him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly. But ain't nobody walking, everybody walking up exceedingly abundantly, are they? So just like everybody's not walking exceedingly abundantly, everybody's not walking without falling. Because God is able doesn't mean that he is going to do it. Uh, it's because some of y'all talk too much and you won't let him. He said, Jamie, stop switching shoes. Because when you switch shoes, what y'all don't realize, it becomes so sad. Because some of you don't realize that. You know them dolls that you click the uh, paper? Dolls so you click the little thing, you fold the, the thing back, and you put the, uh, you make your own doll. You fold the, the, the tip tab back, and they have, the, you got a dress. Now you got a pants, you got this. Some of y'all put on the whole armor of God, and you got on the armor, but you keep switching shoes. The ground is the same. You are on fertile ground. He just, so, so he said, bloom where you are planted. But some of you will not let your roots down. Some of you will not let your roots go on the ground. Some of you will not stop talking. Right? He said, get some roots. And when you get them, study to show yourself approved. Unto God, a workman need to not be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Get roots. Some of you, are, you don't have a root because you do not want to stay in the same pair of shoes. And wait, here's the thing. You are looking at your shoes thinking, I don't like the way they look. Some shoes are only acclimated for you to walk on certain types of ground. I used to run, and I had Miss Doubtfire shoes. We would go shopping for shoes, and here's the thing, I'm telling you, in the ghetto, I thought it, I had to think this way. We would go shopping for shoes, and I said, we go to Payless. And I said, okay, I have to get, if I get shoes with a heel on it, they have to, the heel has to be connected to the front. It has to be a biscuit toe, and it has to be connected to the front. I cannot, I said it, I cannot run, outrun a bullet in high heel shoes. That's the way I shot all the time. You're going to get shoes. Okay, got to think about shoes that look good with a bullet. <laughs> go look good with a bullet in my back? No, look good with me running out, out running the bullet. I cannot outrun gunfire in your shoes. I cannot outrun what's going on in my life in, in, in your shoes. People are so Jimmy, get a, it doesn't matter what you wear, get a nice pair of shoes to go with it and it will tie it all together. I still don't believe that. It matters what I wear. That's why it says put on the whole arm of God. Then it tells me peace on my feet. I don't need peace all over my body. I need a breastplate that will be my righteousness, my sick canoe. I need that belt of truth because the belt of truth is what ties the whole thing together. It's like I told David Lewis three years ago. If you do not have your belt of truth wrapped around you, I've asked him, do you got your boot, your belt? Because if you do not have your belt of truth around you, what happens is your whole armor falls apart. The breastplate is very important because it covers, Miss Linda said it came from their collarbone to their knees. But then God told me, James, don't forget what you told David Lewis. They need the belt. The smallest, most insignificant looking piece of armor is the one that uh, holds the thing together. You need your belt. Because I can tell you, right? Here, I got my belt of truth for you. Can tell, people can tell you anything about anything. I love my pastors, but me and, me and Pastor Timothy went at it for the past couple of days. <laughs> I love them. But don't you tell me. I love him sitting on my couch. Miss Carol was sitting right there. I love him. I said, he said, I said, I'm not doing that. I said, no, I ain't doing that. No. He said, why, Jamie? I said, because I'm not doing that. Because number one, my past, I remember what, I'm the one I was fighting about. I'm what I was yelling about. But I said, my pastors do not train me to do that. They don't teach me to do that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't remember what it was about. I don't. I mean, we was just going at it. The meeting didn't have to be contentious. It was just, it was just, we was talking about options. What was going on talking about options? It was not a contentious thing. I owe him a muffin. Because when I need anything, he come. I owe him a muffin. And not only that, a blueberry muffin. Because he come all the time. He's so nice. In my heart, I know he's so nice. He's a big teddy bear. He smiles all the time. He's a big teddy bear, and he's easily taken advantage of. And I, I, I just want to punch. I just want to punch people in the face because I, I know him. 
I don't think people take advantage of him all the time, but everybody tries because he's so nice. He's so nice. So I want to fight him. Because I get angry at him. Because before I go to sleep every night, I see Pastor David's face and I see his face. And he's like, he towers a little bit. He doesn't tower Pastor David, but he's a little bit taller than him. But Pastor David's his boss. Pastor David will, I, I'm scared of Pastor David. Pastor David will cut me in half. I'm, I, I love Pastor David and I respect Pastor David as a dad. I feel safe when Pastor David's around because he's a dad. I don't worry about him. I worry for him, but I don't worry about him. Pastor Tim, I worry about. Because he's just so nice. It's ridiculous. And God had to remind me, even sitting there fighting with him that day. He said, Jamie, he's on your team. Why are you fighting? Even if he's wrong, he's still on your team. If he's wrong, say, okay, I'm, I'm having trouble with that. But I'm sick. And I said something the other day, yesterday. And I just started letting out stuff that I disagree with. But I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble. I should say, I'm having trouble with that. And, and they say, but, but guess, but check this out. He said, Jamie, if you go.